Calder and Lighters of the 2012 Olympic Games beginning to fulfill that terrific potential. Qualified with a fine 11.09. She too was a finalist in Zurich. But she's better now. Yvette Campion in 2012, fifth in Zurich. And her credentials go right back to fourth in the Olympic Games in 2004. The defending champion. The defending champion. Much the fastest in the field, Daphne Skippers, 10.96 in her semi, and her personal approach that it's a cool evening here, not ideal conditions for sprinting, but no one's going to worry about that if she storms down the track like she did in the semi. Then Tatiana Pinto, a finalist back four years ago, the German, a bronze medalist at junior and under 23 level. And in the outside lane, the World Youth Champion of 2007 came back from serious injury on the mini trampoline after that. It's Asha Phillip, fifth in the world indoor 60 metres this year. The two British athletes here, Henry in four and Philip in nine. There's Desiree Henry, second quickest in the semis. The quickest is Daphne Skippers. Goes in lane seven bidding to get a second European title. Silver medal, of course, in the World Championships. This is the moment the Dutch crowd have been so eagerly awaiting, and it's absolute hush in the stadium now. Pogremniak, Gnafua, Kambunji, Henry, Lalova Kalio, Kippers, Pinto, Philip. There you go. Skippers a little behind Lalova Collio, but look at her coming into her running now. This is Daphne Skippers. This is Daphne Skippers for goal. It's very close indeed behind her. I think uh, just behind her, Lalova Collio may have got the silver, but a wonderful run in these conditions. 10.91, minus 0.2, but it's quite cold. And Daphne Skippers fully living up to expectations by running clear of the field in the European 100 metre championships. She's retained her title. It's gold for the Netherlands and gold here in Amsterdam and they're standing on their feet all round here, a sea of orange around us the mascots getting in on the action well they do don't they, Lalova Collio takes second place and Kambunji takes the bronze medal just ahead of Philip with uh, Henry a little disappointing, nothing disappointing though about Daphne Skippers no, what a fantastic run, and that's a fantastic time. 10.90 on a chilly evening here in Amsterdam. It's not like some of the balmy evenings we have at the Diamond League events around the world. I'm thinking I was in Doha in May when I saw her run 10.83. Intrinsically, I think this is a much better performance than that 10.83 that she ran there because it is a very, very chilly evening now. It's getting on for 10 o'clock at night here in Amsterdam, and what a magnificent magnificent performance though from skippers she fulfilled everybody's expectations she's limited her attention at these championships to the 100 meters as we see this replay just tearing away from the rest of the field in the second half of the race nobody could respond to that surge Lalova Coleo indeed she did chase her had a good start and came through for second one sad scene is that uh, Henry pulled up early on. She's obviously got problems. There's the medical team all around her. She lies on the track. Confirmation there, as you can see on the photo finish. 10.90 for shippers. Lalova Coleo, three tenths further back. And Kabunji winning the battle for the bronze. Daphne Skippers takes the gold medal in the women's 100 metres in 10.90. Yvette Kalu, Oliver Collio takes the silver. And Mujinga Kambunji moves up a place to take the bronze. Well, I think indicative of how 
finer run that was from Shippers was the times by the people behind her. You'd have expected Lalova Coleo perhaps to be running in the 10 tens or maybe even faster. Kabunji Tat as well. I mean, these are athletes who've been running in a, around 11 10 all season, and yet they were a tenth and more back. That was a superb run from Daphne yeah, Shippers. As you say, they were all running a sort of 0.15 below what you might have thought. Well, that would be a pretty special time for skippers. It would. It would be approaching that long-standing European record of 10.73 set by Christine Aron back in the 1998 European Championships in Budapest. What a run that was, too. I remember that very well. Winning by the sort of margin that, of course, skippers shows here. Let's just have a look again and watch this powerful action. Not so quick away, but not bad at all. Had to make a little bit of ground, but gradually comes up right here. And then in full flow from the halfway stage, eating up the ground with those big strides. And away she comes to victory. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what she's uh, going to do. She's still young. And she's going to meet the best of the world, and she's going to fare very well against them, I'm quite sure. Well, she's got a personal best of 10.81 from getting the silver medal at the World Championships in Beijing last summer. I think she's going to run faster still this summer. Perhaps that record of Christine Aron, after so many years on the record books, can finally be challenged. Well, it's a bit of a leap from 10.81 to 10.73, but if anyone can do it, Daphne Shippers can do it. Sven Arne Hansen, the president of the European AA, I'm sure can uh, be very pleased with the way the championships are going and uh, lovely success there for the Netherlands. And the last woman to get an Olympic gold medal also up there, Ellen van Langen, getting the 1992 Olympic 800 metres title. Oh, Skipper's flanked by the other medalists. Dalla Vicolio has done really well, two silver medals here.